Hello, in this video, we will try to create the views and the controllers for the for this method, the projects method. So, um, first of all, we will have to copy the rest of um, the company's controller. I'll copy everything except the last. All right, except the last um, item here. So I'll copy it this way. So I just copied everything inside this company's controller class and I'll paste it inside the projects controller because they are identical. Everything I want to do is already done in the other controller. So I'll just control V. So um, I basically copied everything and pasted. What I will now do is to look for every occurrence of companies and change it to projects. All right, so I'll control H on my keyboard control hold, hold down the control key and press h and you have companies there i want to change it to projects all right projects and uh, this item here is replace all this one is just to replace one after the other so i'll just click it and it replaces all so um the next one i'm gonna change is this one so i'm just gonna copy this paste it here every occurrence of capital letter company replaced with capital letter project with these two columns and then I'll just click replace all so this pretty much replaces um, everything now the final one I'm gonna do is make sure you do it in this order I'm doing mine if you don't do it in this order you scatter everything then you have to go over it one by one so every occurrence of company as a small letter and uh, in singular, replace it with project as a small letter and in singular. So I'll change that. And that is sorted out for me. Everything is sorted out as you can see. So our work now remains little. We'll have to go through the pages one by one to be sure that we've done everything. Now uh, we've copied that. We'll still get back and fix some stuff. But uh, we need to go down again and copy something else, which is the the view this for fo this folder contains files that we need so we can just copy the folder copy then we repaste it inside the views page paste so we now have to so we have to re rename one of them to um, projects so we'll call it projects and that seems cool to me so far so we now have companies and we now have our projects so we'll start with projects create the blade so if we come here and refresh uh it's reloading as you can see we now have a create new company now if you've not made this adjustment um, i made this adjustment outside this video so let me just walk you through it if you go to companies uh create you see that at the top here i took um i added the style which is style background white i just wanted the background to be white i know i could do this in a css file or something but i just want to do it this way then i removed the styling that was here before and then i added the h1 that says create new company okay so you, sh you should do it to and do it in the edit company too exactly the same thing but this one is update company that's in the edit file so uh that's translated to what we have here this one is asking me to create new company. Now what we're going to do is to make sure the same thing we did in the controller will replace everything. So control H on my keyboard. Every occurrence of cap of, of a small letter company and um, we change it to project singular too. I'll click this. And this refresh replaces everything. Make sure you're working on your projects, not on your companies. So this sorts everything out. Then we have to do that of uh, plural every occurrence of plural I'll change it to projects plural so I'll click place everything so if we refresh uh, nothing much will change you can't see it from here nothing much will change but uh, keep your eyes here so this will now click mean my project you understand so create new project now we have to go to our model or database to see the fields we need to create here so if I go to the database and um, check out the projects check out the project structure 
I'll see uh, the fields that I need to create. There's a name, there's a description. We already have it in the form. We have name, description. Then uh, we need company ID, the ID of the company that the, this project is under. So what we should do is um, if we get back to companies and uh, the add project company, the add project link, we should have an extension or an ID that we can pass on. We should pass on the ID of this company from there. So what we'll do is we'll get back to our companies, um, companies that show, companies that show. So we're looking for add project link. From the add project link, we'll have to do something like this. Uh, exactly this. We just want to pass in the project ID, the company ID, to the project page. And um, same thing here. We'll pass the company ID to the projects page, which means um, from the controller, company's controller, where we're getting it from. Okay, the, the project controller is going to create. So this this should receive um, it should receive an, the ID and pass it on to this uh, the view. All right. During our mass edit, we replaced um, we accidentally replaced this to be small letter. All these ones should be capital project. This way should be capital. This guy should be a capital letter. Um, which other guy? This guy should start with a capital letter, and um, that pretty much solves our problem. So we're looking for the the create field. So we'll pass basically the same thing to it. Say capital letter project. So we have something like this. So now, which means the ID we just passed in should be available to us from here if we do something like this. So to test it, we have to just dump. We, we, we do a dump to see if we if we pass an ID from the company's controller, whether it will get to the uh, project. All right, so let's uh, try it out. We'll refresh. Keep your eye at the bottom of the screen. If I place my mouse here on the add project, you will see that it's project create. Uh, but if I refresh, and uh, we have refreshed. If I place my mouse on it again, you see that it's, it's now project create slash one. All right. So if I click on it, uh, we'll see whether we can be able to see at least one up here. Oops. Uh, we have an issue with it. All right. Uh, I've just resolved this. So I'll put you through the way I did it. And I made sure that uh, I have to uh, do everything so that um, it doesn't waste our time in this video. So quickly. What um, I did was go to the, the the route file. You know where your route file is, your web.php, and then create a special route for that will contain an extra ID. So route it's a get request, and that for the user to visit it, they have to visit project slash create, and then an ID. This question mark means that the ID is optional, and then it has to route to the uh, create method. All right. So once I inserted it there, above uh, this project it's above the re the main the parent route all right above the resource parent resource so now it means the user can now put slash uh, create and put a number here now when this number is ended it goes to this create function inside the project controller so inside project controller we have a create function and we're receiving the id which is the id that is passed in here now remember that this ID is optional, which means um, if it's not entered, we're supposed to assign a default value for it just in case it is not entered. So you say ID is equal to null. This is how you do it in Laravel when you want to assign a default value, an optional default value. So once we get that value, we need to pull up the create method, the create page of view in for projects create view. Then we need to pass in that ID. So we've passed in, in as um, project ID which means if we now get to the create page the project create page what we'll have is um, a form 
that works well which we already had in the past for instance if I should pull up and go to project this is create uh, what I will now do is to create a, a, a hidden field that will contain the project ID so what I can do is to just duplicate what we have here make sure it's a hidden field and then uh, I just have to delete everything but then it has to contain project ID okay so class form control everything type should be hidden everything else so have type equal to hidden so um, name project ID and then value the value will be the value that we just got from the the controller which is the same thing as project ID project ID all right so this f f field is hidden which means uh, if we come to a project ID slash ID slash one we will not see it but it's actually here so that when we create uh, a new project it will contain it so what we have to do in the next video is to make sure that uh, when somebody clicks this submit button we'll verify that the project actually creates because it will come to store I'll make sure that it actually creates but then apart from this we can we have to add the new project ID we just added project ID so that is the um, the new project ID um, in our store stop we have project ID project ID just grab the project ID from the form and save it along the database so thank you very much see you in the next video